I bet if you're like most home cooks, you're zesting your citrus fruit incorrectly. You're doing it all wrong. So stay tuned to see if you're on the wrong side of the zesting track. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Leet, the founder of the website Leet's Culinaria. And I'm the one. He is our CIO, which is the Chief Inspiration Officer. I like that. Yeah. Basically, it means he has a lot of opinions. Absolutely. Lots of opinions. Absolutely. So why don't you show everyone the wrong way? And who are you to judge? I'm a judgy person. You know that. I'm working on that in therapy. <laughs> He's still working hard. So what he is doing, what the one is doing, is, is he is moving the fruit. So what that forces him to do is stop every so often, look at the fruit, see how much he's doing, what is he zesting, is he Am doing- Am I getting too much pith? Getting too much pith, the pith from Barcelona. Yeah. Pithy pith. <laughs> and it just takes forever and you got kind of a mess of your fruit. Exactly. Now, the right way- According to Mr. Leet. The, the David Leet- way, Actually, it does work. Is that you move the zester and not the fruit. So excuse me. Watch this. Oh, we, we. I need a little bit of room. You here. do. A little bit <laughs> of elbow room. Take the zester. You move the zester in rows very easily. It just goes right through. You can see exactly what you're zesting. You can see how much pith you're getting, if you're getting any pith at all. Look how beautiful I'm that not. is. And Oh. You can do this in no time. As a matter of fact, you, you could do that entire bowl of lemons and oranges in no time. And because of the way this microplane is designed, it all collects in that channel. You bang it out, boom. No pith, all zest, it's fabulous. Even these old kinds, you like these. Right? I like that one. Okay, show them the right way using the old kind of a zester. I beg your pardon? An old fashioned zester. Show him them the right way. Show them way. the right way using the old zester. Well, you have to move out of the way then. Okay, there you go. <laughs> That's the wrong side of the oh, zester. Oh, it's the wrong side of the zester. Oh boy. Oh Almost my gosh. Lost. There you go. Well, this doesn't work too well. <laughs> Not as good as the microplane. But well, even what? this, because it has that wonderful dip in it, show them the dip. See the dip? You collect all the zest. You bang it out and that's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. So that is the correct way to zest. So we expect all of you people to go on your zestily merry way and zest correctly. And what do you use zest for? So I think, you know, there's a lot of things that you can use the zest for. I, I put it on top of vegetables once I've cooked them, steamed them, whatever. It adds a beautiful, beautiful flavor. You can also put it on top of chicken breast, something that you've put into the oven. A vinaigrette. A vinaigrette. Be nice. It really adds so much flavor, and I find that it's even more flavorful than actually the juice of the lemon or the orange. And do you, you know, know why that's the case? Because of the oils, David. I seem to remember you told me it's because of the oils, right? Mm. You took that away from me. <laughs> I wanted to show that he didn't know that. Last yeah. time we did a take on this, he didn't know. Yeah, it pays to so be correct go on the first your, time. Go on your merry way, zest happily, and we'll talk to you soon. Happy zesting. Happy zesting.